friends, Ash Jensen's. How you doing? I got a mad cheap fragrance for you guys today. $17 is the price that I paid for it. So I was shopping on Joma Shop's website for Lome Ideal Eau de Parfum. I actually Google searched the fragrance and it popped up that it was at Joma Shop. I didn't even know. So I was like, oh yeah, gotta get that. But I didn't wanna get just that because if I'm placing an order, you know, let's throw some other stuff in there. So the fragrance from Latafa that we're talking about today is called Rams. Is that Rams? Roms? Maybe ROMs, silver. I'm assuming it has something to do with your fingerprint because there is a fingerprint on the box that turns into a barcode. This one is one of the fragrances that I ordered. Uh, I also bought Boss Bottled Parfum and a few other things. Boss Bottled Parfum, I filmed first impressions of for my extra channel. So you can see that on Extra Gen Sense. But who cares about that? We gotta talk about this Latafa. Let's jump into it and I'll let you know what's up. Also, as always, guys, if you shop at twistedlily.com or maxaroma.com, you know the drill, gents 10, save yourself 10% off your order. Well, uh, let's get it kicked off with the presentation, shall we? So here we got the front of the box. It has that little fingerprint design that I mentioned before, the name of the fragrance and the concentration, along with just some random words. Together, admire, wish, hot, touch, wow, jazz. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. A little lost in translation there maybe, but whatever. Up top, says Latafa. On one side, you have a QR code. On the other side, you have latafaperfumes.com. On the back, you have your ingredients and your certificate of authenticity. And on the bottom, you have your barcode and your badge code. My bottle expires 06, 2027. And here we have the bottle. And I gotta be honest here, this is an ugly bottle. This looks rough. You have those words once again on the front, jazz. Wow, cool, love, hot, you and me, status. Honestly, if I didn't know this was coming from Latafa, I would think that this is like just a random cheap fragrance bottle from Japan or something with the, the English going on. Nothing on the back. The cap also looks kind of cheesy, a little transformer-ish maybe, very lightweight. And then on the bottom, you have a plain sticker. Let's share a couple sprays together so you can check out how the atomizer works. Here we go. Not very good. So with this fragrance, you get an ugly bottle, a terrible atomizer, a weird looking cap. It's rough looking, but the whole reason I picked it up is because A, it's from Latafa, and more often than not, Latafa does a good job at whatever they're trying to do, and B, it was $17. That's pretty much it. <laughs> 17 bucks for 100 milliliters? That's crazy freaking cheap. And if the fragrance on the inside is really good or even good, then that's a great buy. Also, I do wanna tell you guys, there are uh, multiple different iterations of ROMs or RAMs. This one, as I said earlier, is the silver edition. So don't get confused and, and buy something else thinking that you're buying this because they have another one on Joma Shop, which is $14.99. So a little bit less than this, but I didn't pick that one up. So uh, with this being a Latafa, is it a clone? Yes, absolutely. 100% this is a clone. What is it a clone of, you ask? It is a clone of this, Ultramol. So this is an alternative to this. Of course, Ultramol from Jean-Paul Gaultier, a hype monster at one point, a fantastic compliment pulling fragrance, great for cooler weather, great for a night out, nice and sweet, great performance, great, great, great. Afnon has the fragrance 9 p.m., which is a big seller, very popular. Uh, might actually be Afnon's most popular clone fragrance. And 9 p.m. is an alternative to Ultramol. So it makes sense that the other fragrance brands, the other clone fragrance brands, would eventually come around to trying to make their version of Ultramol. And 9 p.m., which is currently, as of when I'm shooting this video, sold out on Fragrance Buy, runs for in your mid 40s, typically. 
low to mid 40s. So quite a bit more than this one. So let's dive into the Latafa and talk about how it smells and how similar or dissimilar it is to Ultramol. Well, when you first spray this one on, it's sweet. It's fresh and sweet. The pear comes through very clearly in the Latafa, actually maybe even a little bit more so than it does here in Ultramol. Ultramol is not quite as mm, bubblegummy fresh in the opening as the Latafa is, but you can tell right away that this is a clone of Ultramol. So it does a very good job at emulating the Jean-Paul Gaultier. And I would say actually that in the opening is when these are the most different. And it really does just come down to this one has uh, maybe you would say a little more synthetic feel to it, a little more of that, as I said, bubble gummy kind of nature to it than Ultramol, which is saying something because this is a fragrance over here, uh, the Jean-Paul Gaultier that some people would say does have a bubble gummy kind of open, but it's even more pronounced over here in the Latafa. The pear comes through clearly, the mint comes through, the lavender comes through. It doesn't have quite as much of the low end initially as Ultramol does. So I would say uh, right off the top, that the Latafa is a little more concentrated on the higher end, whereas uh, Ultramol is like the full spectrum. You know, it has a little more to the base, the mid and the top when you first spray it on. But very quickly, as that pair kind of steps back from the Latafa, these get very close. The vanilla comes out, the amber comes out, you get that sweetness, that warmth, you get that, that attention grabbing feeling of Ultramol in the Latafa very clearly. So as these dry, they get so much closer that it starts to become one of those deals where you think to yourself, how exactly did they pull this off at 17 bucks? Also, why did they put it into such a hideous bottle? It's a mystery. I would say the only major difference between the two as they head through the mid and into the dry down is that Ultramol does have a little bit more of this slight aromatic feel to it, kind of along the edges of the fragrance, and that's missing from the Latafa. And also with uh, Ultramol, the top lingers a little while longer. So with the Latafa, it starts to settle in and that pair dissipates. Whereas with Ultramol, even though it's not as pronounced initially right off the top, it lingers around a little bit longer than it does with the Latafa. So can you pick out little bits and differences from the opening into the mid and the dry down? Yeah, you absolutely can. But for $17, the Latafa is a banger. And it starts to kind of, you know, draw into a question there. 9 p.m. at over double the cost of this, is it worth it or not? Yeah, it starts to get a little iffy there. Like which one is the better alternative to Ultramol? As far as bang for your buck goes, that the Latafa is better. $17, yeah, can't really beat that. As I've said a number of times, when you're talking about these ultra cheap fragrances, sub $20 for 100 milliliters, at that price point, nine out of 10 things that you smell are gonna be unwearable. They're just gonna be trash. And this at 17, is a steal. It's an absolute steal. I would say if you're comparing it, you know, one to one with 9 p.m. and you don't care about the price difference or anything like that, then at that point, you know, maybe the off non is still the way you go. Again, it, it's close to $30 more than the Latafa. And when you're dealing with such low price points, 30 bucks is a big difference over double the cost, as I said before. So yeah, with the off non, you're getting a better presentation. You're getting maybe slightly higher quality ingredients. With the Latafa, you are just getting absolute bang for your buck to the max. It is an awesome alternative to Ultramol, especially when you consider that this is not an inexpensive fragrance, even from discounters, Ultramol is not cheap. So this Latafa, another one, another little, you know, hidden gem kind of banger that Latafa put out there that's not really been talked about all that much, but $17, can't go wrong. Oh, and performance, you would expect performance to maybe not be that good. It's not as good as Ultramol, I will say that, but the performance is solid. A little bit above average in terms of projection, not monstrous, but still very good, gets the job done, and longevity is solid as well, above average. I will say though, the atomizer is not good, so you may need to give a, a couple little extra sprays, but again, 17 bucks, you can spray as much as you want, who cares? Uh, yeah, that sucks. I hate atomizers like that. They just do this little, like it just, 
The feeling when you press down is very cheap, very plasticky feeling. And then it makes that pathetic sound. <laughs> it's like, ugh. so yeah, the atomizer is no good, but obviously they had to skimp on some stuff, I guess, to hit the price point that they hit. And you gotta, you gotta think for a second, right? They're selling it for 17. What is this stuff being sold at wholesale for? Like $5 or something? Oh, <laughs> you would think it would be so bad. Younger guys out there, guys that don't have too much money to spend on your collection, you want something that's gonna get you uh, ultra mall style for the absolute least amount of money. Pick this stuff up. Just don't let people see the bottle, it's hideous. All right guys, that does it for me. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you later. Thank you.